Hey everyone, welcome back to Home Library Book Review. Today, we present to you another book review on the 48 Laws of Power by author Robert Greene. This book argues that if you manage to charm and deceive your opponents, you will attain the ultimate power. Author states that the better you become at handling power, the better friend and person you will become. We have divided the review in several parts to accommodate all the 48 laws. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe with the bell notification so that you are the first one to receive our videos. So let's get started right away. Welcome to Home Library Book Review, where we select a book right from the shelf and explain its learning through easy to understand text, graphics, examples and animation along with discussion with family members. You can now order your book review video on www.home-library.com Today we are going to be reviewing The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. This book is an international bestseller. It gives advice on how to get to the top and stay there. To be able to cover all the 48 Laws of Power, we have divided this review into 10 parts. This is part 2 of 10 and the laws covered here are from 6 to 10. It also has Goodreads rating of 4 out of 5. Robert Green is an American author and public speaker. Best known for his books on strategy, power and seduction. His bestseller books include the 48 Laws of Power, The Art of Seduction, and Mastery. Born and raised in a middle-class Jew family of California, he studied at the University of California and University of Wisconsin to obtain a degree in classical studies. His books are known for apt quotations. His writing commands a wide array of followers ranging from businessmen, prison inmates, war historians, to musicians of show business. But before we move ahead, Arnav, what do you understand by power? Dad, I think power means ability to do something. Yes, it could also mean capacity or potential or even capability or competence. You know, I know there is a quotation which says, power is neither good or bad, but its user makes it so. Now I can't wait to review all the laws of power in this book. How about you, Arnav? Sure, Dad. Let's begin. Law number six, quote, attention to all costs. Everything is judged by its appearance. What is unseen counts for nothing. Never let yourself get lost in the crowd, then or buried in oblivion. Stand out. Be conspicuous at all costs. Make yourself a magnet of attention by appearing larger, more colorful, more mysterious than the bland and timid masses. Burning more brightly than those around you is a skill that no one is born with. You have to learn to attract attention. At the start of your career, you must 
attach your name and reputation to a quality and image that sets you apart from other people this image can be something like a characteristic style of dress or a personality quirk that amuses people and gets talked about once the image is established you have an appearance a place in the sky for your star it is a common mistake to imagine that this uh, peculiar appearance of yours should not be controversial that to be attacked in somehow bad nothing could be farther from the truth to avoid being a flash in the pan and having your notoriety eclipsed by another you must not discriminate between different types of attention in the end every kind will work in your favor once in the limelight you must constantly renew it by adapting and varying your method of courting attention if you don't the public will grow tired will take you for granted and will move on to a newer star the game requires constant vigilance and creativity understand people feel superior to the person whose actions they can predict if you show them who is in control by playing against their expectations you both gain their respect and tighten your hold on their fleeting attention law number 7 get others to do the work for you but always take the credit use the wisdom knowledge and legwork of other people to further your own cause not only will such assistance save you valuable time and energy it will give you a godlike aura of efficiency and speed in the end your helpers will be forgotten and you will be remembered never do yourself what others can do for you the world of power has the dynamics of the jungle there are those who live by hunting and killing and there are also vast numbers of creatures who live off the hunting of others these latter less imaginative types are often incapable of doing the work that is essential for the creation of power they understand early on though that is they wait long enough they can always find another animal to do the work for them do not be naive at this very moment while you are slaving away on some project there are vultures circling above trying to figure out a way to survive and even thrive of your creativity it is useless to complain about this or to wear yourself ragged with bitterness better to protect yourself and join the game once you have established a power base become a vulture yourself and save yourself a lot of time and energy if you think it is important to do all the work yourself you will waste energy and burn yourself out find people with the skills and creativity you lack either hire them while putting your own name on top of theirs or find a way to take their work and make it your own their creativity thus becomes yours and you seem a genius to the world there is much to be known life is short and life is not life without knowledge it is therefore an excellent device to acquire knowledge from everybody 
thus by the sweat of another's brow you win the reputation of being an oracle law number 8 make other people come to you use bait if necessary when you force the other person to act you are the one in control it is always better to make your opponent come to you abandoning his own plans in the process lure him with fabulous gains then attack you hold the cards how many times has the scenario played itself out in history an aggressive leader initiates a series of bold moves that begin by bringing him much power slowly however his power reaches a peak and soon everything turns against him his numerous enemies band together trying to maintain his power he exhausts himself going in this direction and that and inevitably be collapsed the reason for this pattern is that the aggressive person is rarely in full control he cannot see more than a couple of moves ahead cannot see the consequences of this bold move or that one because he is constantly being forced to react to the moves of his ever growing host of enemies and to the unforeseen consequences of his own rash actions his aggressive energy is turned against him in the realm of power you must ask yourself what is the point of chasing here and there trying to solve problems and defeat my enemies if i never feel in control why am i always having to react to events instead of directing them the answer is simple your idea of power is wrong you have mistaken aggressive action for effective action and most often the most effective action is to stay back keep calm and let others be frustrated by the traps you lay for them playing for long term power rather than quick victory good warriors make other come to them and do not go to others this is the principle of emptiness and fullness of others and self when you induce opponents to come to you then their force is always empty as long as you do not go to them your force is always full attacking emptiness with fullness is like throwing stones on eggs law number 9 win through your actions never through argument any momentary triumph you think you have gained through argument is really a pyrrhic victory the resentment and ill will you stir up are stronger and last longer than any momentary change of opinion it is much more powerful to get others to agree with you through your actions without saying a word demonstrate do not explicate in the realm of power you must learn to judge your moves by their long term effects on other people the problem in trying to prove a point or gain a victory through argument is that in the end you can never be certain how it affects the people you are arguing with they may appear to agree with you politely but inside they may resent you or perhaps something you said in advertently even offended them 
words have that insidious ability to be interpreted according to the other person's mood and insecurities even the best argument has no solid foundation for we have all come to distrust the slippery nature of words and days after agreeing with someone we often revert to our old opinion out of sheer habit when aiming for power or trying to conserve it always look for the indirect route and also choose your battles carefully if it does not matter in the long run whether the other person agrees with you or if time and their own experience will make them understand what you mean then it is best not even to bother with a demonstration save your energy and walk away law number 10 infection avoid the unhappy and unlucky you can die from someone else's misery emotional states are as infectious as diseases you may feel you are helping the drowning man but you are only precipitating your own disaster the unfortunate sometimes draw misfortune on themselves they will also draw it on you associate with the happy and fortunate instead those misfortunates among us who have been brought down by circumstances beyond their control deserve all the help and sympathy we can give them but there are others who are not born to misfortune or unhappiness but who draw it upon themselves by their destructive actions and unsettling effect on others it would be a great thing if we could raise them up change their patterns but more often than not it is their patterns that end up getting inside and changing us the reason is simple humans are extremely susceptible to the moods emotions and even the ways of thinking of those with whom they spend their time understand this in the game of power the people you associate with are critical the risk of associating with infectors is that you will waste valuable time and energy trying to free yourself through a kind of guilt by association you will also suffer in the eyes of others never underestimate the dangers of infection if you are miserly by nature associate with the generous and they will infect you opening up everything that is tight and restricted in you if you are gloomy gravitate to the cheerful if you are uh, prone to isolation force yourself to befriend the gregarious never associate with those who share your defects they will reinforce everything that holds you back only create associations with positive affinities make this a rule of life and you will benefit more than from all the therapy in the world let us now revise the laws that we have learned today law number 6 quote attention at all costs law number 7 get others to do the work for you but always take the credit Law number 8 make other people come to you use bait if necessary Law number 9 win through your actions never through argument And law number 10 infection avoid the unhappy and unlucky 
part 3 coming soon please subscribe the channel and also hit the bell notification button so you are the first one to be informed when part 3 comes out in part 3 we will be covering from law 11 to law 15 these laws are law number 11 learn to keep people dependent on you law number 12 Use selective honesty and generosity to disarm your victim. Law number 13. When asking for help, appeal to people's self-interest, never to their mercy or gratitude. Law number 14. Pose as a friend, work as a spy. And finally, law number 15. Crush your enemy totally. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell notification button to stay notified about our videos. Also visit our website www.home-library.com. Until next time, take care. and bye